I wonder if the lad he got away all right. Wasn't that the caper? I thought he'd never cut the power. Well, I hope she likes it. That wasn't very nice, what you did to Arthur. What did you do while I was out? Stuff. Chanterelle? You're a master of conversation. Look what I got you in the warehouse. Oh. She's so pretty. It's a fair bit of Christmas there, isn't it? which was a lot. They're all quite mad, you know, the home army lads. Did you know the power switch was a lot? I think they want the Germans to come back. It's the shame of it, you see. You bloody knew! For heaven's sake, Auntie, times are hard, but you and I are neighbours from way back. The tanks are hollow, Ollie. What's that? The tanks, they're made of papier-mâché. Like we made at school. We could have fought them. If they didn't really have tanks. Did... Did you know they were fake? Of course not. I wouldn't have had to lie my way off that train. I would have told the lads. But... would have risen up. But, Ollie... Oh, my God. You were the general secretary. I did. You must have known. Don't forget a thing like that. I lied my way off that train. If we'd have known, we'd have risen up, we'd have had to. Would have saved you and everyone else's kids. Didn't you hear me? I have to go find him. Oh, the bridge is crawling with policemen. There's that thing Majig you told me about. But I was going to use that. You, you were going to leave me? No, of course not. You're my daughter. You'll never believe you're a bridge inspector. You're right. You're always right. Take this to the Maiden Home Bridge and tell the Bobbies you're there to fix the bridge works. And from Maiden Home, I can get to Apple Hole. Oh, and say hello to Percy for me. Well then, see you on the other side. I... I don't see how you could have not known. I couldn't have known about the tanks, Meg. I'd never have forgotten such a thing. I'll see the General. He'll tell you. He'll tell us I never knew. Margaret? He has to. Margaret? Ah, for fuck's sake! Someone's broken in. Look, down there. Wastrels. I think they're setting up some kind of bomb. Ah, oh, for Fuck's sake! Oh Going no! To banger, you leaky scanner. What's happening here? So I guess I'm gonna take some weapons. Um. So where is this bomb anyway? Ah, it's down there. Coming to us in the end. Where the hell are they getting explosives? used to this why can't I shove those people you're annoying me
He's almost... Ouch. He's almost dead. Okay, yeah. Now you are. Wait still, you bastard. <clears throat> oh well, I'm not that good, great too. Oh no. I think they're setting up some kind of bomb. I think we might need to get out. Away and boil your heads, you witless cocksplats! <laughs> Okay, I think I need to get out of here. I think. And I have nothing to heal up on, so maybe I'm going to die now, too. Oh, great. I think I'm dying because there's nothing much that I can do. Because he doesn't have any. Oh, healing bomb. Yes. Fast. Whew. Okay, one more. Okay, um, there's not much time. How do I get there? Oh, here. Let's hope that they don't hit me first. Oh, they, of course they do. Uh-oh, I think I'm gonna go... I think I'm going to die soon, but probably also from the bomb. Um, so... I guess Victor Mead won't heal us, right? Nope. I don't know if I have that much time left to scavenge so much because well I'm almost dying well I think I am dying yep I'm dead sorry Ollie transfer note to Starkey to join the Airborne. Sergeant Oliver Starkey, previously the aide to the comm to General Bing, has recently transferred to the Airborne Division. Starkey's aerial aptitude has long been apparent to his fellow soldiers, says a comrade who declined to be named. There's many a fellow well, what thought Starkey should take a flying leap. We all wish Starkey well on his first big jump. Okay, so we are still low on health. And I don't know. <laughs> don't, oh, there's a first aid kit. Yes. I guess that's a good start. So, I didn't even manage to uh, talk about seconds. Hey, come back here. Yes. So I didn't even manage to talk about the story. So this is when Arthur came back from the... Ooh, what's this? This is when Arthur came back from the um, memorial camp. Okay. That's a nice one. Uh huh. Okay. I'm gonna take the meat and the tea leaves too. Don't forget all your things on the ground floor. You don't want to leave them behind. Better get everything I can scavenge out of there. Careful. Those people might still be here. Mm hmm.
How the hell do I get out of here? The doors are blocked. We can't stay here. The roof's going to fall on our heads any minute. How about we go back up and jump off the roof? Are you crazy? Well, I have that parachute, so it's better than it sounds. You're going to take a parachute up to the roof and jump off? If you've got a better idea, don't be shy. Oh, wow. Well, this will be quite full of action. So, let's get out of here. Question is how? Oh, well, whatever. I don't have time for this. Um, so, we need to climb this, I guess. Oh. Christ on toast! <laughs> oh wow. Okay. Oh, duct tape. <laughs> Never know when we need that. Although I think that our child doesn't need that Meg doesn't need any more um, diapers. Okay, so they can keep incinerating each other. Go That's forth and sin no more. Okay. Ooh, it's a parachute. Uh, I just need to get up on that roof. You're not seriously going to jump off the roof? Come on, live a little. Uh, bad choice of words, sorry. <laughs> oh, wow. to make a run for it. I'm not that well equipped to fight people with access, so... Are you sitting there fuse, right? Well, what if Private Wuss's name lied to us? Calm down, he's not stupid. We've got him locked up. If we don't come back, he'll starve to death. They've captured one of the home army lads. He could signal somebody for the window! Then why don't you fuck off back to Canary House if you're worried about it? Wait, what? Oh. Why are you on my elevator? Get down. So then, let's collect everything. There's not more, much more to collect, right? Okay, everything taking with me. Um. Okay. Oh, I didn't. I wouldn't have needed that gas mask. I think they're setting up another bomb. Where the hell are they getting explosives? Oh wait, they're missing something. No, I think they found it. Okay, that's not so good. Okay, I'm taking everything. Anything I can find, I'll take it. Okay, so I think I'm good now. Where do I need to escape? There, okay. Are not there. I need to get up back up again. Oops, sorry. No, get down. Stay down. So I needed to jump up there. Ah, here's a wheel to rotate. I think they stuck the piece 
So, what's happening? Oh, it's a letter. They're running away from it. You're going to break your legs if you're very lucky. Well, I've always wanted to try it. Parachuting, I mean. I've already broken my legs once. Don't recommend it. <laughs> Sounds true. <laughs> what? Oh no. Did, did I? Oh no. <laughs> did the bomb blow up? Sergeant Oliver Starkey, a three-time army boxing champion, has been recommended for a combat decoration. Ollie always did like to mix it up, says a former colleague who declined to be named for fear that Starkey might not actually have gone on holiday. Starkey's penchant for pugilism had twice previously resulted in his being stripped of his sergeant rank. However, those same talents always helped him restore his rank afterwards. His decoration ceremony will take place when he returns from his holiday. Okay, so let's find out where we restart. Oh, I hope it's not too far you're back. Going to break your legs. Oh, very good. If you're very lucky. Well, I've always wanted to try it. Parachuting, I mean. I've already broken my legs once. Okay, Don't so I'm just gonna jump it. for it. Woo! This doesn't oh. work. I won't feel stupid for long. Chunks away! Margaret, wait for me! Hope those fucking wankers like rubble. I'm never going back there. It doesn't matter. He'll tell me I didn't know about the tanks. He's got to. But we can't get into the military camp. I wonder if that soldier can help. The one the wastrels kidnapped. Being Ollie, people don't like you, and not just because you occasionally insult them. You just don't fit in, and we know how well you treat people who don't fit in. You are muscular and a trained soldier, but if you want to avoid having to murder people, stay out of sight when you're trespassing. You're mechanically brilliant, but you can't use a camelac to save your life. So Ollie is the crafty person. For a man who's just jumped off a building. Your blood sugar's probably low. You better use one of those syringes. Oh, okay. Ollie's blood sugar drops over time, making Ollie feel awful. When blood sugar is too high, Ollie's health will slowly deplete. Use a sucranus syringe to lower it or wait. When blood sugar is too low, Ollie will have less health. Move, move more slowly, be weaker and insult people on sight. Use a glucose syringe or eat food to raise it. Okay, this is interesting. Oh, so maybe that's what happened up on the roof. Maybe the, the explosion, maybe it wasn't the explosion, maybe it was the, because before it was a plus sign on a drop. Okay, Ollie will have less health, move more slowly. Okay, so I think, so now we need glucose. So I guess Ollie is diabetic. <laughs> but if we can't there. use... Don't you feel better? Maybe you could find a beehive nearby and steal some honey. I prefer to think of it as harvesting. Thank you very much. I th I wonder if we can craft this ourselves because we're not chemists. Okay, what's happening here? So I guess Ollie is not a sneaky person, but so can we just take this from here? No. Or yes? No, we can't. Oh great. Oh, we have a weapon now. Oh, well. Okay. Well, this is hard. This is really tough. They should lose me soon, right? Okay, very well. Okay, um... Well, we are Ollie now, and... It seems that Ollie was General Bing's secretary before the train, I guess. So... 
I think Oli's dilemma is if he had known that the Germans tricked them into obedience with those paper mache tanks and okay I suppose he is a little bit crazy because he still sees his daughter with him but when we were Arthur he did talk a little bit weird and I mean he, he talked to Margaret's picture but I guess he really saw Margaret there and also his conversation up in the tower he actually talked to Margaret and not to him but it just kind of matched not a hundred percent but a little bit so it still sounded like he was just confused or anything or something this is going to be really tough because it's like did he know that he sent his daughter away for nothing like not for nothing but did he give up his daughter for paper mache tangs when they could have maybe fought back did he know about this or did he not and I'm really afraid that maybe he knew. This is what happens in this game. This is what happens. This is what the game does to you. And oh, I'm really afraid that Ollie did know somehow at some point. Or that Ollie could have known. And it probably drives him mad. Because I guess it's, it's kind of hard to accept that when you still envision your dead daughter with you or I don't know who knows maybe M Margaret isn't dead but the daughter that you sent probably for dead well anyway I, uh, I suppose this is going to be a really tough story this is probably a tougher story than Sally's because Sally was just a different character and also Sally's story wasn't so much about remembering anything that she forgot but kind of handling what she gotten herself into before and I think Ollie's chapter will probably be a little bit more like um, Arthur like slowly recovering your memory and remembering what you did back then and I'm afraid that it will be something that Ollie did that will be that will lead to a sad ending. But we're going to find out the next episode and thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time when we continue Ollie's story.